So there are three levels of this of our journey with God. There is a, there is the there's the level of religion. Religion introduces us to Him. Religion gives us an avenue to be able to learn how to access. Religion brings discipline. Religion brings routine. Religion makes you more familiar with the things of God. Religion opens up the door actually to familiarity. Now, after religion, you have to move to the next phase, which is the phase of revelation, where now you're no longer doing things because you're told to do them. Now you're doing things because you understand. You're doing things because you're beginning not only to believe what God is going to do for you, but you're beginning to believe in Him as a person. You begin to know him as a person. He's revealing himself to you. That's what revelation is. He's opening up your mind that you may begin to know him. You begin to understand him. You begin to know he is a person. He wants a relationship with me. He wants more of me. It's not about the things. Not about the routines. It's about the person. Because religion makes the person and the things connected. That's the funny thing about it. Religion makes you know that if I do this, then I am here with him. Religion connects God to things. That's why in religion we believe that if I do this, then I am holier. If I do this, then I am closer. If I do this, then I can then 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 I then God should give me more. That's why religion can lead to frustration. Someone in the stage of religion can't understand that the reward is God. A person in religion is always looking for the hand of God, wondering why hasn't God done. In fact, religious people are the most frustrated people. I'm not saying religious people in the context of those who have taken vows, no. I'm saying people who are bound at the level of religion are the most frustrated people. Why? They will say, I wake up every day at three. Why haven't you done for me? I do this, why haven't you done to me? Because in religion, the thing is tied to God. The action is tied to God. They are one thing. Because I do, then he must. Because I do, then he must. Revelation, I begin to know that it's not really the thing. It is the person behind it. I begin to understand that it's not the action. It's not the tithing. It's the God who is behind the tithing. I begin to understand that it's not the fasting. It's the God behind the fasting. It's not the power. It is the God behind the power. Revelation brings an opening of, of our mind that there is a person behind. And this person is real. Revelation makes me know, oh, by the way, he doesn't want me or, or demand for me to fast. He wants me to desire to fast. He's not demanding I wake up at three to pray. He wants me to desire to wake up and pray. I begin to see a part of God I never saw. Because now revelation begins to make me begin to see his face. From there, if I push a little bit further, then I move to the level of relationship. Relationship is where now, it's one of the things, it is him. But Lord, I want to see you face to face. I want to commune with you. I want to eat with you. I want to talk to you as a man talks to his friend. That is relationship. Now, why am I mentioning this? It's because when I understand that the reward is him, this only becomes clear to a person who has relationship. If I have relationship with the father, then it's easier for me to understand when he says that Victor, I am yours and you are mine.